When you decide it's time to personalize your invitations, you go ahead and view and edit each individual accessory that you've selected. In this case, we're going to take a look at the square invitation. You simply select anywhere that you want to edit and you can either do free text editing or you can use some of our verse ideas and we'll implement them for you. You can always preview what you've done. In the main wording, there's several options that you need to take a look at. You need to decide who's hosting the wedding and based on that, select a wording template. Once you've got the wording template, you need to personalize it so you get your church and wedding location, the reception, and all of the other details. You can also select the font that you want. Please note that when you change the font, it updates the font for all of the accessories in your selection, so you only have to do it once. Remember to look on the other side of the card. And you can edit this as well. Once you're satisfied with the editing on that particular card, you need to decide whether you're going to do individual names of guests. If you are, here's how you enter them. It's actually quite simple. All you do, you click Add, you put in the guest names that will appear on the invitation. If you're also ordering envelopes that are personalized, that's the first, the envelope title is what goes on that particular invitation. And then you key in the, the address. Remember you get four lines and 30 characters per line. And then click Save and continue on. If you've already got this in, in, in a Microsoft Excel format, you can simply import the guest list. We always recommend that first you export one or two items so you see what the format is, adjust your data to fit our column headings so that the import process occurs no sweat. Finally, once you've imported the items, go back and view the individual guest information to make sure that you didn't make any errors when you entered it. So now you'll notice that there's one to 58 guests and as I click through, the individual guest names change. If you want to go to a particular piece or particular card, you just key in the number and off it goes.